Oh my gosh, guys, my game just hit a thousand visits on Roblox in the past 24 hours. Hey guys, it is Flybox here, and today I'm going to be telling you how to create a successful game on Roblox. But before we get into today's video, I do want to let you know we're doing a shout out giveaway at the very end of this month. And if you want to be entered into it, all you gotta do is hit the subscribe button, like button, and comment down below why you subscribed. It's that easy, and let's get right into the video. Now, before we get into the meat and potatoes of this video, I do want to let you know we need to make a foundation, and that is to learn the website itself. Now, Roblox, if you don't know, is about a place where anybody can create a game and publish it on the website and earn money through Robux, which means you have competition. You have other people. There are games always being posted all the time which means you need to create something unique and catchy. So let's go ahead and jump into tip number one. Tip number one would be unique. Now, there are many, many games on Roblox and thousands of them. And well, you need something unique. Now, I'm not saying try to find the most unique thing because let's be honest, everything's been done. And there may be some really good things that haven't been done yet. And if you can find those, that's a definite plus for you. But try to find something that may have a unique or something that is already done and put your own twist to it. And at tip number two, we have follow trends. Now, this may seem like a sellout move, but it definitely is something good for you because if you follow a trend, people are going to find your game easier that way because it's a hot topic. So find the topic that's really big at the time and create a game around it that would be intriguing for people to click on and play. For instance, maybe make a simulator about Among Us. That would be really cool, or a tycoon, or anything of that nature. People would eat those up and love them. Coming in at number three, you need to have a direct line to your community. The people who play your game, you need to have contact with them. By that, I mean not like best friend contact, but like a Discord or something that they can basically give feedback to your game so you can understand what your community likes and does not like. And based off that, you can help build your game to be better. People love a developer who will respond back to criticism, to respond back to the community's ideas and thoughts on your game. Tip number four, I suggest creating a game around the games that are popular at the time. Now, don't make a game that is exactly like something that's already out there, like Adopt Me or something of that nature. Don't copy directly from a game. What I'm saying is find a genre that is popular and base it off that. Create a game around that genre. Right now, simulators are one of the biggest ones. Even storytelling games are really starting to pop off, like Piggy. Now, I don't think it's probably a good idea to make a story-based game. Those probably only will pop off here and there. I think the stable solution would make a simulator game, or even an obby game. Tip number five, I suggest always updating your game. Take the feedback from your game and implement it. Find what works and doesn't work and add it to your game. Constantly update the game. When a holiday comes around, Make sure you add the holiday themed stuff to it so people know that you're really there for that community and really wanting your game to be there. The more content and the more playtime in your game, the better. You want people to stay there for hours. You want people to keep coming back to your game. So you need to have something to keep them coming back. That's why I suggested simulators because you can make a level up system and ways to grind up more and more and more and they want to stay there for hours trying to get the highest point. But you want to make it interesting, you want to make it unique and fun for them to keep staying there. If you're just grinding a level f just to grind the level, why? You know? You want to have fun with it, make sure they're having fun. And those are just 5 tips I can give you today that will help you get your game to be successful. I surely hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helped. If it did, comment down below and hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you in another amazing video. Bye bye